Inside Kathy's house lived a magic nanny and five children who all know her magic is secret. It was tea time and Ava May made shepherd's pie with peas and potatoes. When Ava May handed out a plate to everyone, Daisy and Stephanie began eating with their hands. Justin chewed very loudly. Lucy ate with her mouth wide open and Blake was not holding his fork and knife properly. Kathy did not like the children's table manners. Honestly, don't you ever eat your food properly? She asked, feeling annoyed. The children stopped and stared at Kathy. I don't think Nanny and Grandad will like your manners that way, she said. But we are eating normal, said Daisy. Kathy explained that it's not nice to eat with your hands, talking with your mouth full, chewing loudly and holding the knife and fork wrong with a wide open mouth. The children put their food down and did nothing. Now come on, don't be like that. You can still eat, but eat properly, she said. The children didn't know much about good manners or why it's important to have them. It looked like it was time for Ava May to work her magic again. I can teach the children all about good manners after tea, said Ava May. Kathy was very grateful and she also invited her to her parents' house for lunch, but Ava May wasn't too sure. I would love for you to come with me and the children to meet my parents for lunch, said Kathy. Ava May was very honoured, but she had lots to do. Oh, Ava May, forget the cleaning and come as a guest. My parents would love to meet you, said Kathy. Ava May smiled and thought maybe it is a good idea after all. After tea, Kathy went to clean the children's bedroom while Ava May decided to talk to the children about good manners. Oh my, it looks like your grandparents are not going to invite you to lunch anymore if you keep eating like greedy rats, she said. The children looked at each other, feeling puzzled. We don't eat like greedy rats, said Justin. I think it's time I teach you all about good manners, said Ava May. The children groaned as they couldn't be bothered, but Ava May had a better idea. Okay then, no magic for no manner children, Ava May said as she picked up a plate and began to wash it. The children really wanted Ava May to work her magic, but they couldn't understand why good manners are so important. Now then, let's get into a circle and do some magic, she said. So Ava May and the children got into a circle, and after they counted to three, they were back at the magical field. There was a big picnic basket with food and drink inside. Are we having a picnic? Daisy asked excitedly. If we set it up, then we can have a good picnic, said Ava May. Blake carried the cups, but Daisy wanted to carry them instead. Hey, I wanted to carry the cups, she cried. Well, I saw them first. You can't carry them, said Blake. But Daisy wasn't going to let him take the chance, so she grabbed the cups and tried to pull her. Daisy, let go, cried Blake. Just then, Lucy carried the plates and Justin carried the food. But as they didn't look where they were going, they suddenly bumped into each other. Justin, my clothes, cried Lucy. It wasn't my fault, it was an accident, Justin said angrily. Stephanie tried to pick up the blanket, but as it's very big, she couldn't put it down and everyone was getting very mad and Ava May was having none of it. Hey, this is not the reason why I use my magic so you can fight, she said. Everyone stopped and felt very confused. I think I should take you all somewhere else, she said. But I was looking forward to having a picnic, cried Daisy. Ava May explained that if they go with her and see how important it is to use their manners, then maybe they will have a picnic later. So they got into a circle again and this time they went to see a family sitting at a dinner table, passing plates to each other. Would you like some potatoes, dear? asked a lady named Bianca. Yes, please, dear, said the man named Colin. So Bianca took a spoon and scooped a few potatoes on the plate. Thank you, dear, said Colin. Just then, a child named Neve wanted some potatoes too. Please may I have some potatoes too, she asked politely. Of course you may, 
said Colin. And he passed the potatoes to her. Thank you, said Neve. The children were surprised. The family was saying please and thank you. This is how you should use your manners, said Ava May. Then they spotted them using their fork and knife to eat. Daisy and Stephanie looked at each other and wondered why using a knife and fork was important. Ava May explained that it's a very important part of good manners and a sensible way to eat. Our hands always get messy after meal time, said Daisy. And it takes a while to wash all the grease off, said Stephanie. Ava May explained that if they do use their fork and knife properly, then nothing will get messy. But we use our fork and knife when we eat, said Blake. Ava May understood that the older children do eat their fork and knife, but not in a sensible way. I know, let's take you somewhere else where we will see grown-ups using their manners, said Ava May. So Ava May raised her arm again, and this time... <coughs> the children couldn't believe their eyes. They never set foot in a restaurant looking so fancy. Come along now, children. We only came here to see how the grown-ups sit and eat properly, said Ava May. The children watched a grown man sliding his knife, using a fork, and ate with his mouth closed. The children watched and wished they could have done that sooner. It's never too late to use your manners, said Ava May. Can we eat over here and learn how to use our manners? asked Lucy. Ava May had a better idea. She decided to take the children to another place and see other children using their manners. This time they arrived at a park where they saw a few children setting up a picnic. Jace, please can you help me lay the blanket on the ground? asked a girl named Jenny. Okay, Jenny, said Jace. The other children placed the food on the blanket. Would anyone like some orange juice? asked a girl named Alyssa. Yes, please, said Jace. And the others said thank you too. They all felt very good. They were being respectful and not fighting. They were all helping each other, said Justin. Yes, and that's another way of using good manners, said Ava May. That made the children understand that using their manners is a nice way to respect each other and not considered rude. Why are they eating so slowly? asked Stephanie. Because if they chew loudly, then the others will think it's horrible and wouldn't want to eat, said Ava May. Blake then realised he wasn't using his manners all that time. But some food usually makes a sound, even if we chew slowly, said Blake. Ava May agreed and explained that some fruit and vegetables do make a funny sound. Good manners are the most important thing in the world, she said. The children understood very well and Ava May thought it'd be a good idea now to have their own picnic. When they arrived back, Ava May asked if the children were ready to use their manners. We promised to be extra careful, said Daisy. And we also promised to say please and thank you, said Lucy. Ava May smiled and allowed them to set the picnic up. Here, Daisy, you can hold the cups while I help Stephanie with the blanket, said Blake. Thank you, Blake, Daisy said excitedly. Lucy carried the plates and Justin carried the food. This time, they carefully watched where they were going and they didn't bump into each other. Once the picnic was set up, they all sat down. My goodness, what a splendid picnic, Ava May said, feeling very proud. Thank you, Ava May, the children said together. And they all started to eat while using their manners. When they finished, Ava May had a special surprise. Now, who would like some dessert, she asked. The children got very excited and began cheering, but then they remembered their manners. But Ava May didn't mind. She was very impressed. That was the best picnic ever, said Stephanie. I guess using manners is very important after all, said Daisy. 
The others all agreed, and Ava May smiled. She was very happy to see them all getting along and becoming closer. Soon, the picnic was over, and everyone was very stuffed. I'm so full, said Blake. I'm so full, I could just go to sleep, said Lucy. Ava May agreed, and so did the others. Well, it has been a long afternoon, visiting a family, a special restaurant, using our manners and having a picnic together, said Ava May. The children were very quiet and Ava May decided to take them home. Once they got home, they were very happy. Thank you for teaching us about good manners, said Daisy. Yeah, I never knew good manners was that important, said Justin. Ava May was very pleased to hear that. It was family time and Ava May made hot chocolate for everyone. Thank you, Ava May, they all said. Another day went by and everyone got ready to visit Kathy's parents for lunch. I can't wait to introduce you to my parents, Kathy said excitedly. They sure sound like nice people, said Ava May. Once they arrived, Kathy introduced her parents named Cora and Roy. They were very pleased to meet her. You sound like an amazing nanny, said Cora. Doing all the cleaning, the cooking and looking after the children, I can't imagine what I'd do without her, said Kathy. Ava May smiled and the children giggled, still keeping her magic a secret.